das ist Something seems to go wrong every morning. Da oben! Kollege! An oil freighter has arrived in Hamburg from the Dutch city of Rotterdam. Da oben ist dagegen! Andersrum! Nee! Wilhelm Müller is the man responsible for making sure the oil is pumped out of its tanks correctly. Okay. It's a regular procedure, but it still poses the occasional problem. 1,000 tons of oil are being unloaded. This can take four hours or more. The oil is then refined on land. They probably pump out around 300 tons an hour, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the vessel. This is what the oil looks like. It's a byproduct of gasoline production and is of no use to the major mineral oil companies. But it is of use to Hansen and Rosenthal, a Hamburg refinery. Here the oil passes through a system of pipes that is over 100 kilometers in length. It's heated and at high pressure. The final product is a special kind of oil that brings the refinery millions in sales. Niels Hansen has built up the family company into one of the leading specialized refineries in Europe. It smells slightly of mineral oil, the typical smell of a residue oil. It's used to make around 800 different products, such as cosmetic and pharmaceutical oils and Vaseline. Oil prices have been rising for decades. Together with his son, Niels Hansen has made his company a global player that employs 1,500 people on four continents. People are only getting nervous because there are rumors they might close the Strait of Hormuz. Hansen says talk of shortages is just plain scaremongering, but his company does benefit from high prices on the oil market. For many years, oil giants like Shell and BP didn't consider it worthwhile to refine residue oil and just use it for heating oil. Mineral oil is much too precious for that. Supplies will run out sooner or later, and that's why we should be careful with these resources and not just burn them. You can obtain energy from other sources. It doesn't have to be mineral oil. That's why it's important for the refinery to get as much as possible out of the oil, increasing the yield to more than 90%. That's a top rating worldwide, with the help of this 150 million euro plant. This is our modern propane de-asphalting unit, which processes this very heavy residue that we normally sold as a byproduct, as heating fuel. But now we can increase the yield by a further 20% here. And that's important, both in terms of economic and environmental aspects. So the amount of oil that is wasted has been radically reduced as oil reserves decrease. Here in Hamburg Harbor, they're confident they will be able to manufacture specialized products for many years to come.